Hi, Cheryl McDermott here, Administrator, MVRG Training Center and Designated Broker at Mountain View Realty Group. So today, let's take a minute to talk about living intentionally and what that is. What does living intentionally mean? Now, for me, and probably for many, the struggle is that maybe we get up in the morning, um, we're, we spend some time with our family, we get them off to where they need to go, and then we take just a couple minutes and then we get off to the office and we get to the office, we have emails and voicemails and we deal with that, we put out fires, we are consumed uh, in a direction that other people are forcing us to go. And I hope that makes sense that yes, although some of these things are very, very important and we need to stay on top of, but we also need to allocate where we're going throughout the day. And this would be living by intention, right? That we're intentionally living our days. Now, the only reason why we'd want to intentionally plan or live our days is if we have a goal. So what I'm talking about with goals is what is the big picture? Where do you want to be in one year? And what are the activities to get you there? Extending ourselves a little further, where do we want to be in five years? And what are the activities we need to get there? Now, if we are consumed all day long with those emails, those phone calls, those things that are time consuming, and we notice that now it's one o'clock in the afternoon and we have not taken one step in the direction of where we wanna be by the end of the year, we're gonna find that that big picture plan is just that. It's just a big picture dream and we're never going to get there. So my suggestion and what I, I am strongly encouraging and recommending is that we keep that big picture in mind. We keep where we're going always in the forefront. Another issue when I've talked to many, many brokers and agents um, across many states is what happens is we feel that we, were, we are on task. We feel that we are growing our business. We are feeling because we are busy that positive things are happening and we must be going in that direction. So how do we really know if we're going in the direction to reach our one year goal? So this is the big picture again, one year big picture, five years even bigger picture, and a list of activities that we need to uh, do in order to reach that goal. So an example may be, um, I'm currently writing a book. So my example is by the end of the year, and it's gonna be way sooner than that, but one of my big goals is to have that book published this year, this year being 2019. So having that book published this year, every single day, I am going to intentionally do something that gets me to that goal. And I expect to have that done way sooner, but that is a big picture project that I'm looking at. If, if I'm not reflecting on my day, so if I say, okay, I'm gonna get this done, let's say my goal is by February, I'm gonna have this book published. So if I'm not working towards that goal every single day and able to document that I'm working towards that goal and reflecting on how successful that activity was to reach that goal, do you really feel that I'm on track? I may think I'm on track because I'm thinking about it or I did some activity to get to that, but if I don't reflect on how useful or how much that one activity accomplished, then it really has done me no good and I still find myself getting wrapped up in the non-urgent, non-important issues or even things that I could be delegating or having people help me with that would take my mind off of these small tasks or tasks that can be delegated and putting it back in focus to what I am working towards. So we always wanna keep that momentum working forward. So with that being said, how are you doing that? How are you accomplishing our big picture goals? It's a good question, right? First, what are your big picture goals? What are, what is your one year plan? What things 
do you want to happen in 2019? Now is the time to get it down. And writing it is absolutely the best way to, to have it. Can these things change? Absolutely. But have a big picture goal. Like I am going to do this or this is going to happen within this year. Now, once you have that, what are the activities that I need to follow through on and accomplish to reach this big picture goal within the year? Once you have that down, now let's break it down by day. Let's go into our daily. One thing that I have found very, I have found to be very helpful for me in accomplishing my goals is journaling. So in the morning, I journal and focus, and then I plan my day, intentionally plan my day, always keeping in mind my goals and keeping the forward momentum. And then at the end of the day, I also journal again. Now, it doesn't have to be anything fancy or anything long. And in fact, I would like to recommend a planner to you. Um, those on YouTube can see it. If you're on the podcast, you can't see it, but I'll talk about it. Uh, this is the High Performance Planner, and it's by Brendan Bouchard. And I strongly recommend Googling this planner because what it does, I'm not going to show you, I'll show you a blank page that I have not used. So what it does is it asks us for our message to ourselves. It runs us through a brief, when I'm talking about journaling, we don't have to write a book. We don't have to write paragraphs about what, you know, about the day or about the morning, but it changes your mindset. And within this planner, it says morning mindset. It walks you through a couple prompts for our journaling. And some of them are just one words. You just fill out one word. This is to help organize our family life, our personal relationships, our goals, our business, everything right here, changing the mindset. Now I've been using this and I have to say that it is absolutely helpful, especially if you're not really sure where to start. This will give you that direction. Now your top three, today's top three goals and priorities, you'll fill that out within the book. So this is all staying with you. Tasks that absolutely must be done. There's always tasks that we have to do. Person that you need to connect with and how you're going to do so. Then it has the time, right, from 6 a.m. all the way to 7.30 with notes at the bottom. So after you fill out your morning mindset, this will give you a little bit of direction, or at least it does me. And then I realize, okay, big picture, let's work towards that. I intentionally plan out my day, and then in the evening, let's reflect on what we did and how we can do even better. So um, if, you're, if you're struggling with planning out your day or living your life intentionally, I recommend this planner. I'm sure there's others out there that are great, uh, but I'm currently using this one. And make sure that you are keeping yourself on task. So that's it for now. Um, thank you for listening, and I look forward to hearing from you guys soon. You can reach me directly at mvrgtrainingcenter at gmail.com. Again, mvrgtrainingcenter at gmail.com. Thanks.